I've been told Tokyo is famous for its unique and weird cafes. So, in today's episode, we're going to check out some of the animal cafes here in Tokyo. No. Warning though, cuteness overload incoming. Okay, so first up is the fluffy bunnies here in Akihabara. This cafe is located on the second floor of this shop house, and it's a one minute walk from Suihirocho Station. Inside, you have the options to go for a 30 or a 60 minute playtime with these cute and fluffy bunnies. And the cover includes a free drink and some rabbit food. So, this is my apron. <laughs> cute, eye. So you're, you're supposed to wear this before you go into the, like, the, the cage pan here, where I'm in. Um, there's about four bunnies here. So let's check them out. There are a total of three pens here, and the bunnies are human trained. So don't worry, they don't bite. Next, why don't we feed some of these bunnies? Well, I guess they're not hungry. This cafe also named all their bunnies. Let me see if I can remember some of their names. This one is Ururu. This one is Movzo. And he looks like a lion. Kokoro. And lastly, this cheeky one is Momo-chan. He just winked at me. You see that? He just winked at me. Peace, yo. Next up, we are headed to Harajuku to explore a few cafes. This one is the Owl and Bengal Cat Forest. Okay, so I'm at the Owl Cafe now. I gotta be really quiet. Let's go in. There's... There's one around me here. So apparently you can touch the owl, but you have to do it from the back side of your hand. So just like that way. It's so soft though. You know, it feels like that dust cleaner you have at home, you know, to clean. So this one's a little owl. It's really tiny. Super tiny. So this one is really, really small. Like, literally, I'm like next to it. Like, it's kind of like the size of my hand, just that small. Inside the owl forest, you'll see a variety of owls, including ones from the Harry Potter movies. I think. So correct me if I'm wrong, but this one, they look kind of like from the Harry Potter movie, right? They kind of look, they, they're actually looking at the camera right now. They're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Directly above the owl forest is the Bengal Cat Cafe. Once you're in, you'll need to sanitize your hand and swap into the slippers provided. Now the cover charge also covers a complimentary drink. So sip a drink and enjoy your time here with these adorable cats. And if you're lucky enough, you might just witness a real cat fight. Well, there's a board right here in the middle of the forest here. It tells you what each cat is worth if you were here to buy it and bring it back home as well. So I guess that's that's a relief that they're doing that because it's just pretty sad if they were just staying here 24 seven for the rest of their lives, if you know what I mean.
Next up, the Hedgehog Cafe. The ticket option here is similar to most animal cafes. A 30 or a 60 minute set. But if you had to choose one, I highly recommend getting the 30 minute snack set. It's gonna be one hell of a hedge-tastic experience. Once you're seated, you can hold and play with this hedgehog. Don't worry though, they got some mittens for you. A few seconds in, and I can already see why this is my favorite animal cafe here in Japan. And feeding them is probably the best experience here. It doesn't get any better than this. But they also sleep a lot. Just like the, the Bengal cat um, cafe, you can kind of bite them and then bring them home as well. Which again, I, I, I love, I love that's this concept as well. So they're not just sitting here and just kind of like, you know, day after day, you can actually bring them home if you, if you really care about them. So that's actually what I love about this kind of concept um, cafe. Not only you're here to, to admire their beauty, but you're also obviously, can you also can take them home and take care of them yourself. You know, if you really get attached, emotionally attached to the one that you're holding. Lastly, the zoo cafe here in Harajuku. A fairly new addition to the area. Alright, so this time we're gonna check out the other Harry's Cafe, but this one there's an otter, so it's amazing, amazing stuff. Let's go. While the zoo has other animals like chinchillas and hedgehogs, the main star of this zoo cafe is definitely this playful otters. And of course you can feed all the animals here too, with a fee. But hey, oh, it might just be worth it. I mean, look at those adorable hands. <laughs> oh, it's out again. <laughs> hey. Just make sure to tie up your shoelaces. Apparently, they are expert in untying things. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you love animals, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.